Hey guys, Hackexploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the Web Application Penetration Testing Series. Alright, so in this video we're going to be looking at uh, Web Application Firewalls or WAFs as they're called. Now, this may be a new term for you and do not worry. This is uh, now when we move into a more professional level and again, this is what I'm be I've been talking about. Uh, is most people out uh, or most documented uh, documentation out there won't cover the most important industry standards you know now when i'm talking about web application firewalls what i mean is is these are the protection uh, or these are the mitigation um, procedures put in place to protect a web application from uh, attacks obviously now as a penetration tester or if you're looking at it from a white hat or a black hat perspective from white hat perspective it's always important to have a web application firewall and i'll probably make another video showing you how to set it up it's really easy and it's free and it'll uh, probably remove about 20 percent of attacks okay so that's if you're a white hat now if you're a black hat and you're targeting or you're performing a penetration test legally on a website or web application uh usually what the employer will tell you is they'll give you a scope of the project and uh, again they might give you the source code etc etc you get the idea you have your white box testing black box and gray box uh but coming back to the firewall most of them wouldn't know that there is a firewall and that's because the person who set the website up for them in terms of hosting or the web application for them uh, will in most cases on a professional level have a web application firewall. Now you might be a bit confused and you might be saying, well, why is this important when performing a penetration test? Well, this is important because firstly, it's something that most pen testers overlook. And if you know this, you've got an ace up your sleeve. All right. So essentially what's happening is if it's being used, uh, if a web application firewall is being used, uh, you, you obviously first need to detect it and I'm going to show you how to detect it in this video using a special tool that I don't think you've ever heard of, uh, but it's also industry standard. So this is a real, real secret. I don't know, for some reason, it's not just, uh, it's something that just hasn't caught up yet, uh, but hopefully after this video, you'll know about it. All right. So essentially the purpose of a web application firewall is uh, it, uh, it, protects the web application uh you know from a firewall point of view in the sense that it blocks attacks uh as one would expect them to come now what does this mean for you well this means that uh, you will need to in uh, you will need to manipulate um any type of data that is going to be encoded all right so what this means is if you're if you're performing a penetration test that involves you manipulating data and sending it back to the web application, similar to what we did in the previous video, then you need to encode it in a specific way to bypass the firewall. Otherwise, it will be blocked by the firewall. And I'm sure most of you have actually done this before. If you're just amateur penetration testers and you've just begun, you'll find that for some reason, your requests aren't being processed. And that's because they've, uh, there's a firewall set up to prevent these uh, malicious requests from being processed. Okay, so again, a uh, web application firewall is really, really important. Now, looking at the tool we'll be using, the tool uh, has actually a very, very funny name. You, for some of you might find it hilarious. It is called Wafwoof. Now, for those of you who have heard of it, uh, you pretty much already know how to detect a, a web application firewall, but it's really very, very simple. All right, so just open up your terminal. And uh, what you want to do is you want to type in waf woof. All right. So this is how it is going to be uh, spelt. So it's waf uh, woof with a two uh, with two zeros. And uh, the syntax is pretty simple. If I just hit enter, as you can see, waf woof, a web application firewall detection tool. All right. So credits go to the author. It's actually it's a tool that's been there since the I think almost the last version of Backtrack and uh, the first version of Kali. So again, quite a, an old tool. I, when I say old, I mean, uh, you know, I mean that with respect, uh, given the fact that it's really, really useful. And I've used it a lot because it saves you a lot of time. And what I'm talking about is so. Um, uh, let's say we want to scan a website. Okay. Uh, in this case, I have my WordPress server running here. And as you can see, it, it's the site is being hosted on 192.168.1.101. All right. So I have that uh, IP opened up in my browser. And as you can see, it's a WordPress site and this site is vulnerable. And this is what we're going to be performing uh, later on the penetration tests on. But for now, we want to find out whether it has a firewall. Now, by default, I know it doesn't have a firewall, but let's see what WAFWOOF would tell us. All right. So the syntax is very simple. As you can see, you just type in WAFWOOF and you enter your URL or your URL. So you can enter as many as you like. 
Okay, so I'll give you an example there of how to go about it. Make sure you enter your HTTP or HTTPS protocol. And uh, we just, uh, let's try that out. So WAF, WOOF, and we specify our protocol, HTTP in this case, and the IP address 192.168.1.101. All right. Now, in this case, I'm pretty sure that uh, it won't detect any uh, web application firewall. So let me just hit enter. And as you can see, no web application firewall detected by the generic detection. All right. Now, this is very, very advanced. And this tool is an industry standard. And if it does tell you that there is no uh, web application firewall, then by all means, I can guarantee that it, it does not have a firewall. Now let's look at one of my sites that I currently own. Uh, it's a site that uh, I use. Um, uh, it's actually my web development uh, company uh, that obviously we use uh, for web development. Now I've protected this site with a web application firewall provided by Cloudflare. Now for those of you who are web developers and when you're performing your hosting, you know that using Cloudflare is awesome because it allows you to optimize your site for speed. It allows you to purge assets and make your site faster, protect it, uh, and uh, again, protect it from uh, DDoS uh, uh, attacks, etc., etc. All the good stuff. So let's see if it will actually detect this. So I'm going to type in wafwoof. I know that name is really, really funny. The protocol uh, is HTTPS, uh, HTTPS like so. And I'm going to specify uh, the site, which is elgonstudios.com. All right, elgonstudios.com. And if I hit enter, as you can see, it's going to start checking the site. Give it a few seconds. It shouldn't take uh, any much, uh, you know, a lot of time. And as you can see, the site elgonstudios.com is behind Cloudflare. All right. Now, what this means is that most of the um, most of the attacks that involve manipulation of data uh, will be in some way blocked, and uh, you know you won't get your response back the way you wanted it, and the render wouldn't be the same. All right. Now, again, as you can see, it's detected that it is behind a web application firewall. Now, the next step is how to encode these, um, how to encode encode your your requests that you're going to be sending to the web application and that's what we'll be looking at as we increase the security level uh using the uh, the damn vulnerable web application all right so i thought this is something that i really uh, need to share with you again it's going to really help you and i promise you this is something that you know uh, if you go for a job interview or you're performing a penetration test for a company this is something that uh, most of the network or systems administrators are very keen on they want to know whether you really know your stuff and whether you're really up to date with how to detect first of all because information gathering is really important and as you can see this tool is fantastic and once you know there's a firewall you then have a better idea of how to target and you won't be wasting time again that's something that most of the amateurs or beginners do they waste a lot of time trying different commands that they've seen but they find they, they under they see that it doesn't work and they're like how is this possible am i doing something wrong the truth is uh the web application is probably well protected so again, uh, you know, do not use this for any malicious purposes. Uh, again, this is simply an information gathering tool. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please leave a, a like or a thumbs up, depending on, on what you call it. If you have uh, any questions, leave them in the comment section on my social networks, or you can uh, write up your questions on the website and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for the support, guys, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.